Mind firing over the top of Neo Power, getting the down. Oh no! Getting wow. the quick elimination behind the box. He's pushing up. He's trying to get shots on, missing those shots. Person comes out of the wow. office. Here we go. Back and forth. Those uh, stairs. Oh, oh wow. Two shots up. Shots yeah, up. Papa goes tail. Oh, he's back up. He's done again. He's done. Oh, he's out. No way. Still another shot. Mono Joe's going down. He's done. What is up? <laughs> look at this. Look at what all of your bits have done. <laughs> we have ran out of bits and he has ran out of weed, obviously. Eyes wide open. What's up, Mr. Brown Pit? Oh, I'm so sorry. You are watching Amateur Hour Commentary. We are in the second match of the playoffs of NAFWL Season 6. Over there is Mr. Brown Pit. He's got his crazy eyes on. What's up, Mr. B? How are you? What's going on Rad? what's going on man i'm here very excited man very interesting match here that we have going on killer bees team we got the killer cocks and we got gaffies and what an explosive match that we expecting today man i'm actually very excited i'm gonna be rooting for gaffy so orale hermanos vamos adelante and yeah man let's see how this all turns out Absolutely love it. And I think the audience does too. Oh shit, as MJ is in here and she's got a lot of laugh out louds for those for those crazy eyes, man. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting night for sure. But making sure that we get out all the, uh, the shout outs. Also tonight we have Mr. Wolf. He's doing production tonight. So he's in our ear. He's in the background. So everybody give a big shout out. He's going to be in the comments with you guys tonight too. So please give him a shout out. Whoop, whoop. So Brown, man. What do you think, man? So I just, let's just throw it out there. Let's just throw it out there. You, you played the other night you played up against meat pie, right? Oh, man, and obviously meat pie first, you got to congratulate meat pie, man. They're the first right. squad who made it to the semifinals. So uh, congratulations to them, man. But, Ooh, man, what, what do you, I should have, could have, would have, but what would you have done different? I'm just, I'm just quickly wondering. Honestly, I mean, um, they came out on fire, man. There's really not really that much I can say. I mean, we played our game as best as we could. I mean, we thought we had a couple of surprises that we could have came out and and did a few things different. But ultimately, I mean, I don't I don't think there was really much we could have done. I mean, we kept coming down to the wires in the first like five matches, but then they just turned it up to the extreme that we just I don't know, man. We just just didn't feel like we couldn't keep up, man. And and it was a quite quite a surprise for us but i think we gave it our best and ultimately i mean it shows that they're very ready to go all the way to the championship round and we'll see what happens after this uh this upcoming semifinals match you know after the killer cox and gaffey uh turn up and see who winds up being there with them but like i said i mean it was a very explosive match i congratulate those guys i mean they they're my friends actually and it kind of hurts that they kicked me that bad because it hurt <laughs> but ultimately i mean I'm, I'm very happy that they made it i mean we we came out to fight as hard as we could and and you know we just we just couldn't couldn't get there they got there first and you know congratulations to them man i really appreciate the games they had some good shots in, man. They were crazy quick. I know their their comms were were just spot on, uh, and they just they kind of just got into this nice groove. Um, and I personally knew that I I threw out some shout outs just as far as like your leadership, your guidance on that one. No, uh, even at the end of every single match of a loss, you kind of threw out some kind of positive note. Um, so I threw out a lot of love on that one again. And I wasn't even covering for you guys. So um, <laughs> anyway, while we're uh, while we're here we need to go over the lineup um if That's you right. don't mind crazy eye willie over there <laughs> all right all right <laughs> i'm gonna be covered for uh oh well, let's start over let's <laughs> all right all right Everybody calm down. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to be covering four Killicocks. So over on my side, I've got Honeycock, Metalcock, Leathercock, Cockamus Prime, Filthy Cock, Where's Walzer, JJMJ420, and Chuckson Wuxley. Chucker's son Wuxley. Okay, that's a, that's a great name. But a lot of cock over there. Um, they've been pumped up all season. They finished up. Where did they finish up? They finished up in a solid second place with 77 points. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my squad. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. So um, I think Killer Cox is going to make it all the way to the very end. So that's just the way I'm seeing it. I'm cheering for them tonight. Over to you. 
All right, all right. On my side here for Gaffy's, we have Gaffy Diego L7, uh, Gaffy Moonlight, we got Gaffy Sicario, Gaffy Piku, Gaffy Cybex, Gaffy Black 31, and Crod 4711. And yeah, man, these guys wound up in seventh place. Actually, they were pretty much tied with the sixth place team, which was the Super Sweet Potatoes. But it was a differential of losses that really made the difference. And it's where they landed up for the seventh spot. But still, they're going to show us a great match tonight against the Killer Cox. And I'm expecting great things from this team. Might get a nice surprise from Gaffey. All right, I am totally in shock uh, and in awe that you were able to read through those things. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, these eyes are big for a reason. I mean, they're wide they open are right big. Now. They are big. <laughs> there you are. So, um, so just to make sure everyone's on the clear, uh, as far as the rules tonight, uh, it is the team that can get the best of eleven. The team who gets there first. Uh, this thing could roll out to twenty-one rounds tonight, so uh, you might want to sit back and uh, and see what happens. Uh, hopefully, I want to see a, a back and forth match all night long, man. I just I want to see it, but uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens. But uh, I know I am feeling pretty good about about Killer Cox, man. They have been on fire. I mean, Murder Kittens is still kind of in this like in their own like little realm, but Killer Cox, man, they just kind of shot up to the top. They kind of stayed there, bounced around in like third place, second place fourth place uh but man finished up in second place very strong too um maybe a couple more rounds then maybe they could have got caught up with murder kittens what do you think i mean they did wind up tying six six to murder kittens and in that game if i can recall correctly uh the killer cox actually were winning six to one uh by the half you know and, and entering the half i mean you know, the Americans came back with a, a five-game win streak, and, you know, that was pretty exciting to see how they faced up with each other. It almost seemed like the championship match was being played right before. It was very early on in the season, but, you know, I'm expecting great things from the Americans as well as the Killer Cox, but they got to make it there first. You know, <clears> we can't count any of these teams out just yet. Cafe is still in front of Killer Cox. And later on this week, we're going to see Top Gun facing off with the Americans. So make sure you guys are tuned in for that. I think it's Saturday at 9 p.m. Um, and yeah, man, this is going to just be explosive, man. Let's see who makes it to the very end. Um, I'm excited to see what this game is going to result. Actually, it's uh, it's going to be Saturday, the 22nd at 8 p.m. Uh, just make sure that's Murder Kittens versus Top Guns. Make sure you tune in for that one. Uh, that's going to be a crazy, crazy match. Um, I know Top Guns has got to be looking forward to uh, getting Murder Kittens. Everyone's every time that we even talk about Murder Kittens, we're like, oh god, Murder Kittens. But so that that can't make Top Gun feel too good. But Top Gun, they're in the playoffs. They had a great season. Yeah. They're a tight squad, man. Uh, and I'm glad that we we're gonna finally get to cover at least another Top Gun match. Absolutely. Big, 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 huge shout outs to everyone in the chat. We've got Dr. D sauce. Oh shit. It's MJ. She's here. Uh, sorry. We couldn't hook up last night. Um, let's see. Billy seven boy. Let's see. Thanks for being here. Willie T bagger and everybody go over to his channel after this, not during, not now. Uh, and go give him a big shout, big, uh, lots of love, big thumbs up. Uh, I always, man, I'll jump. I kind of jump around sometimes watch people i'll go watch their streams they're watching our stream we we need to show it back so Absolutely. i'll go to their stream willie teabagger man he always has he has a very great show man He's just hilarious. like yours uh you have great commentary willie will make you laugh dude willie will make you laugh you gotta go tune into that it's really really good um Absolutely. babs is in here um babs is awesome i even said i wouldn't i wouldn't want to arm wrestle bad <laughs> fresh milk <laughs> fresh milk is in here uh punishment vr uh you gotta go to aims aim mods um but i'm gonna let i'm gonna let wolf talk about that during uh halftime naughty boy what's going on what a killer uh i know you Absolutely. gave your shout outs i got to cover for that guy and uh holy crap he that guy's a dancer dude he's just yeah. bouncing around amazing so, and I know it's Zodicus Pie. He was going to jump in here. So I know I need to go ahead and give my shout outs to him. So, but Funny Fighter, thanks for uh, for being here. That's Funny Fighter 44. Um, mm -hmm. And I hope I did not miss you. Gonzalez, 
Uh, and I know Karen's got to be out there too. So oh, yeah. big shout outs to everyone. And Maggio. What's going on, Maggio? Maggio, Johnny Cage wins. We got a whole bunch of good people out here. Dr. Yep. D Sauce. We got Billy Boy Seven. You know, shout out to everybody who's following through, man. I really appreciate you guys coming through. And if you're new here, by the way, make sure you're hitting the follow button. Not just following the AHC commentary, but EHC commentary, EU, and AHC commentary, RL. Now, I think what would be interesting, you actually mentioned before the show uh, when we were all loading up that would it be interesting if like, you know, that Gafe pulls out one of their like all-star players I think, and uh, what do you think? Go ahead. I mean, I think uh, they have uh, something hidden under the sleeve and I think it might, it might come out and surprise us tonight. You never know. And that my surprise might change everything around, you know, that's all it might take just one little surprise that, that changes it all around for them. So I'm hoping they, they're coming out with that surprise. <laughs> There's a special player that they've been sitting out that, yeah, I think he, if he makes his appearance, it'll make a world of a difference for sure. So I am just now actually getting my first look here on uh, who's streaming over on my side. I've got Chuckamus Prime, who is uh, – please don't go over there yet. You know, just give out the shout-outs, though. Chuckamus Prime giving us his stream tonight over on the Killicock side. Uh, Chuckamus Prime, that's one word on YouTube. So thank you for the stream. Shout out to Chuckamus Prime. Thank you. Thank you. And do we know who is streaming for Gaffe? Not yet. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. If anybody in the crowd could help us out or knows a little bit of inside information, please let us know that stream. It would be great to get uh, the second POV. What's going on, the Punisher? What's going on, the Nickel? What? It's a surprise, fellas. <laughs> How is everybody doing, man? Hopefully, everybody's having a great weekend. This is a great start to the weekend, actually. You know, we did have our earlier game. Uh, ended pretty quickly with the Super Super Tito's uh, going down 11-0 against the Meat Pie. Congratulations to those guys. But those games are over, and now we're headed to the next chapter <clears throat> in this tournament, which will be truly amazing to see who will be facing off against Meat Pie, whether it's going to be the Gaffe or Killer Cox. And I want to see what the polls say. I mean, I wonder what everybody else thinks. Well, what do you guys think is going to happen tonight? Yeah, yeah I even chat. said... I even said before the chat, I was like, you know, I really shouldn't get involved in the polls because it messes with the numbers. But like, screw it. Let's just do it, man. Let's get into the polls. <laughs> but here we are, man. I'm going to just see if uh, who's already loaded up over on uh, Gaffe side. You've got Gaffe Moonlight, uh, C-Rod 4711. Holy hell. Gaffe uh, Diego. Uh, over on the cock side, you've got Wolf Cock, Filthy Cock, Honey Cock, and Cockamus Prime. So there's your four players on uh, on that side. Still waiting for the uh, the fourth Gaffe to jump in. Wow. Okay, I don't know if you went live there, Wolf, but yeah, seventy three percent is what Wolf is saying that uh, that Killicox is uh, predicted to win tonight 73 percent of you guys i was part of that 73 percent by the way <laughs> i just want to throw that out i still believe in my cafe team let's go cafe vamos amigos see this is why i love if, you know what you and timber because you guys can like do the whole like tongue curl thing uh and i was screwed i mean i was like i've been like really murdering these names all season so i'm so <laughs> happy you're here dude no no worries man I, you know you can use that that skill that i have my first tongue my spanish uh anytime man i i actually like talking spanish it's just i don't get to talk it often but uh when i do get the opportunity it's like the dos equis guys you know i, I enjoy it enjoy it very much <laughs> So, so what's the deal with the glasses? What are we going to do? So is it, is it like a deal? Like the more bits that the people throw out, the more it's like for your weed money and then they get to see your squinty eyes. Is that what we're doing? What are we doing? What's oh, the deal? No, I just, uh, I just figured I'd get everybody the opportunity to, uh, to look into my eyes. You know what I mean? <laughs> just take a good look. <laughs> look you know, into my eyes. And for them bits, you know what I mean? Definitely they'll get a little squinty. You know what I mean? So keep them bits coming. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I, I'm trying to make this one squint. Hold on. Oh, there it is. I think so. Something, something happened there. 
<laughs> Keep throwing them bits my way. Don't worry, man. My eyes gonna get extra squinty. <laughs> Hell yeah, we need to do that. Throw some bits at us, y'all. Let's uh, let's see those eyes get squinty. <laughs> Shout out to Savage, man. I, I like that guy, man. He's always here, showing a lot of support, man. Thank you so much for being here, Savage, man. You're you're an awesome part of the community, man. Appreciate it. Oh my God, Cole, Savage is Savage is like in the center of this community. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that guy. You he's know, the, but his he's predictions the are, are pretty incredible. I mean, sometimes I listen, you know, to his predictions. I'm like, no, no, they're not going to come true. And I mean, he nails like at least three or four of them this season. You know, like square in the head. I mean, he, he's nailed them pretty well. It's a good predictor, that guy. You know, I'd want him to M give me some lateral numbers. <laughs> MJ is uh, absolutely loving the eyes. She can't stop uh, laughing. And uh, Babs wants you to shake the eyes. <laughs> Throw them bits. Throw them bits out there. <laughs> oh, man, they clicked. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they made a hey, it might have been the eyes clicking all right so don't let nobody know don't let the secret out all right all right <laughs> brown pit with his secrets man <laughs> tell me, tell me, secrets secrets Oh man, I think they might be loading up for uh, for a warm up, but it looked like the warm up was gonna be in shoot house. I don't know. That's what the warm up. I don't know. That's what they they were set up on. But that would be a crazy warm up. I uh, appreciate it, Billy Boy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Is this you. now how he plays? Uh, that's a question from our, I guess, from our producer. I was gonna say, man, with the PSVR two, Brown is gonna be super happy because it has a much bigger field of view. And with those giant eyes, I know I'm gonna be seeing <laughs> it's gonna everything make a clear, big man. man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna see everything. Clear. <laughs> PSVR two, I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, there's a lot of talk about that. Honestly, I mean, every time I'm in the public chats, even with people that haven't been on the PSVR one just yet that have been curious, you know, and over the years have seen the firewall community grow. They've seen other games from the PSVR catalog, and they're very curious to know, you know, what do I feel about it? Or they like to opinionate. And some of the things I hear, I mean, a lot of people are very excited. I'm expecting a very big community to come along uh, to the PSVR 2, and a lot of people are actually looking forward to seeing some kind of firewall 2, maybe. I mean, hopefully. A lot of people are saying, hey, if that comes out with the PSVR 2, I'm in. I'm hoping <clears throat> something like that will happen because that would be truly amazing, man. Like, ah, oh, man. I mean, what would yeah. you guys think that came out as a bundle? I mean, I think that would be amazing. Oh, God, that would be crazy. If they did, like, uh, a, a bundle package, brand-new VR, and a brand-new, I don't know, a brand-new firewall game. That would be amazing. Uh, Man, I really do kind of hope that they do something like that, like how they did the uh, the aim, you know, the aim controller with firewall made yeah. it into a package, and it wasn't outpriced either. It was a great deal, and look here we are, almost like three years later, man. It's crazy. We're still here, um, and I still think to me it it is kind of like a. Um, uh, almost like starting a, your first day at a new school. Like you're almost yeah. a little bit worried. Like you've got everyone who's still on a PS4, maybe a PS5 at this point, but that's still a mixed category right there. And then now we're moving to a PSVR 2 where you've got to have, you know, a PS5. So now you're you're in a whole new category and just kind of hoping that your friends adapt quickly. I know I've got some friends that still need to adapt and just get the PS5. Yeah. Uh, so it's a scary time right now, I think. And uh, I, you know, I, I would have a question like that. Like, it, say you have your squad and you have your friends who have not adapted yet. What, what do you do? I mean, are you just going to keep running back to your PS4 or your PS5 and playing Firewall on the PSVR one? Or do you say screw your squad and put pressure on them to adapt? and just play your new firewall too and make new friends. What do you do? What do you do? Right. I mean, that's, that, that is a tough choice. I mean, I, I don't know, man, the potatoes are gonna have to follow along because <laughs> they might get into the PSVR too. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Baby. Some car washes or something. <laughs> We're going to get that money. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh man. Uh, bits at those guys. <laughs> let's see, man. We looks like, uh, they are loading up right now. I think that this oh. is just going to be the warm up, so we can still kind of, Screw off a little bit. I think this is going to be a warm up. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good pull. Make sure to stay in this. Maybe I don't. Uh, 
Holy, holy shit. No, you know what? When it comes to the bits, I'm going to stay out of the polls. I don't want to. Oh, yeah, it should be 500, bro. <laughs> She'd go five. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, so, so here we are. We're going to back test. Oh, yeah. 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 Shots being fired in the air. Running out to the center. Nice little warm up. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> uh, they've got wolf in our ear so That's right <laughs> you gotta i gotta i need like a little tap or a, a, a like a ring sound when we know that you talk and you go live you talk when you don't take a little bell uh i'm i'm live now um so Ooh. yeah i just did anyone else notice someone was running <laughs> ruby hubba hubba look at <laughs> look at this look at this you've got bits going all around right now nika what? let's see nick nick with all the uh the bits right the there bits. and the karen karen be happy with 300 bits man cheers thank you so the, much that's awesome bitties. cheers on the bitties yeah get some soda whacking it oh whacking it Jeez, guy that's a nice fella that's a nice fella appreciate it yeah, man, thank you. That's the 28. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Punishment VR says I would win the staring contest. <laughs> <laughs> Try me. Try me. Try me. <laughs> let's, let's do a tournament on that let's one. Let's do a tournament on this one. I know I can win that one. <laughs> oh, God. That'd be awesome. Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> Oh, where's your horse that's what Mel's asking right now where's your horse oh my god the horse oh, just, just <laughs> blink already <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. yeah man I mean it's just for me to be able to pay attention you know what I mean I, I know that I've been lacking in the last few games by closing my eyes and not watching the full game but I'm ready this time. They're late at night sometimes. I get sleepy sometimes too, dude. I mean, it, it, some sometimes I have to yawn and I have to like wait until like the you know we start actually going and then so nobody can see like how sleepy I am sometimes. Sometimes, but now nah, these actually all these games have been fire, man. Every single match has been amazing. I've been seeing them straight through the eyelids. I mean, it's been absolutely spectacular games and. <laughs> I'm excited to be here, to be quite honest. I mean, I, I've been dying to see what's going to happen out of this tournament. And, you know, I was hoping that we would make it a little bit further with the Super Super Potatoes, but it's unfortunate we came down pretty hard on, on, on against the Meat Pie, you know, who came out absolutely on fire. And like I said, this is going to just be more explosive uh, games com going, coming throughout the week. So keep tuning in because this is going to be absolutely fantastic stuff here. I think I think that this is the damage of meat pie. When you play up against meat pie and they kind of just like, you know, oh my God, the shell shock. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, the it's the up. big eyes. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, it takes like a solid three days for that stuff to, I came off you know, the recede like this, down. You know, it's like, it's, it's like a <laughs> swelling or something, you know? Yeah. No, it's just uh, after like, just kind of like my eyes, just looking as deep as I could through those VR lenses to try to see something different. No, they kind of got stuck this way. It's gonna, like you said, it takes two three you, days. Said you that you look like a jockey right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Uh, that comment was by Mel. Uh, Babs <laughs> even saying, what's up, Mel? Again, thanks, uh, Nick. Loving it. Or uh, whacking it. Thank you, man, for the bits. Appreciate Don't you. Worry. Those bits, I think, in the, by the next game, these glasses are going to be... Gone, man. It's gonna be squinty. <laughs> Back to squinting. <laughs> Back to squinting. Oh, you got a uh, Roush Ritter in here as well. Didn't want to make sure I give a shout Roush. out to him. So, what's up, man? How are okay. you? They got to play earlier. I was watching their match, uh, the twelve gauge against the. Um, oh, they. Uh, I just. I wish I could remember the name of that team. Twelve gauge, man. They were on fire. I mean, they were getting uh, very hard man, hitting. Yeah, games twelve gauge. On. But twelve gauge. Twelve gauge is, wow, is the man, one to watch play? for sure, wow. dude. I mean, uh, I would absolutely love, to see, love watching them. I would love to see a Murder Kings game versus 12 Gates. I mean, that's going to be something very special to see. You know. Oh, absolutely. It was Death Squad. Correct. Correct. It was the Death, Death Squad. Squad team. And it was just a fantastic match, man, all the way around. You know, I was trying to learn yeah, something that's a, there. 
Very good call out. Very quick on that, Daffy. Big shout out to you. Thanks for being here, man. Shout out to and Gonzalez. Nice. Seems like we're just waiting on one person. And hopefully with that one person coming in, we'll be able to move forward and see, oh, I think one just popped in. We might be able to move forward into a match or we might be doing another live test. And what is going on, Gonzalez? How are you, ma'am? Uh, yeah, I see. I, okay. What's yep. going on, everybody? Go ahead, Wolf. Uh, voice is back. Um, as we're waiting for these wonderful matches to start, just a real quick plug for everything. Um, uh, I want to give uh, initially a shout out to our Rocket League channel. That's AH Commentary RL Paco, who used to do a lot of production for us over here on Firewall, is our primary producer over on our Rocket League channel, and he soloed it tonight. And this was his second time soloing uh, production and commentary, and the dude does a fantastic job. I, I know he was nervous, but if you guys can go over and check that out. Maybe give it a follow if you're interested in checking out some Rocket League. Really awesome stuff with our partners, Brio Esports. Um, always fun to watch over there. Also, check out our EU branch um, over at uh, GSPL. We cover a lot of the EU competition over there, particularly 12 Gauge, Death Squad, and all of them. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Age Commentary EU. Um, and uh, our last little plug here, uh, I got I got to bring it up every single time. Amods.com, boys and girls, definitely go there. Improve and upgrade your gaming today. Check out Aim Mods to improve your your gaming. Uh, upgrade that Aim controller, give you better control. Um, and uh, yeah, check it out. Amods.com can't can't rave about it enough. All right, they made it right. All right, I think we're actually starting with our first map here, a bunker. Bunker. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Nice plug, Sorry. Wolf. I guess Wolf. they made it past. <laughs> oh, that's old thing. <laughs> I only saw Hugo going right. Yeah, Hugo went right. Ooh, Filthy goes down. It's a revive. Chuck trying to do his best to keep him in. Oh, Chuck exchanges shots, and he saves his guy. All right. I'm down, I'm down. Ooh, he exchanges again, gets Hugo over and out. Great grenades. Mira, allí te van a matar otra vez, Diego. Ahí está en la esquina. Ahí está en la esquina. Uno está en la última vida. Mira, háganle doble tiro al de la esquina. Very impressive start by Killer Cox right off the bat. Espérate, Diego. Espérate, Diego. No, ya se movió. Ya se movió. Está pero en medio. Yeah, staying close, not rushing. No, cruce, cabrones. Hagan doble tiro. Ooh, Chuck goes down by get Diego. Filthy gets the revive. Wow. And they push in. I think only one more member stands. You got two Gaffy members still up. Oh, it's two. Yeah. It's amazing. Diego, Diego, mira, vete a la derecha del wey? otro cuarto. Diego, estás moteado, papá. Vayan los dos al otro cuarto. No, 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 para allá no. Para el cuarto de la derecha. Crucen, crucen. Crucen, crucen. crucen. Ya crucen, se movieron crucen, todos crucen. a la izquierda. Todos a la izquierda. Sí, crucen, crucen, crucen. Rápido, crucen, rápido, crucen, rápido, crucen, rápido, rápido. Crucen, crucen. Métanse en ese cuarto. <coughs> a ese cuarto. Allí, 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 allí. Kefi is trying to figure out a way past the middle point. Seems like they're being held there. Oh, Chuck goes down again by Diego. Wolfcott gets the revive. Only one more left. There he is. It came out the back. He went back, back, back side. I have a sensor on the front of box room. He's getting ammo, so. Fuck, should we go in a party chat? 
He said still in the hallway. Three on one. Can't see if you want the box room. Fucking a. This is not yeah, good. Sucks. You wanna? Pretty sure it's I don't know. Do you want to put sauce in for somebody? Maybe I don't know. I don't know if it's both me and Rube because we're both. I don't know. Either in for. You want to swap either roof for roof or sauce? You're straight in front of you, Chuck. Fall back, yep. To the right a little bit. I'm pushing him, he's hurt. Yep. Right. Push, push. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They, they exchange. Cockmas gets that last one down. Shit. Yeah, good call. Nice little exchange there. Yeah, that was very impressive. Very uh, solid start by the Killer Cox. Yeah. The comms is not going to work. Yeah, that's, we yeah, that's they had a very good push right off the, the bat. Instead of defending and holding back, went pushing straight up the middle and got a very, very aggressive defense very early on in the, in the match, and it didn't allow for Gaffey to push forward. Very impressive move. Yeah, it was interesting. I was pretty sure that Killa Cox was on the attack. Um I don't know, man. I, I, it, I think that they overtook the defense on uh, on Gaffe. I might be wrong. Um, you've got Kakamas Prime on that last match. Holy crap, man. This guy got three kills and two revives, and we got that POV. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Filthy Cock was able to get one revive. Wolf Cock was able to get that last uh, kill and one revive. Uh, the only members who went down was Cockamus Prime and Filthy Cock, and both of those were done by Moonlight. Gaffe Moonlight got two kills and one revive. Gaffe Diego was able to get one revive, and C Rod was able to get one revive. That's what happened. Wow. Very unfortunate for Gaffey. Losing Hugo very early uh, made a big difference. And actually, uh, seeing Hugo here is going to probably make a big difference in the way the approach for Killer Cox or might not. But it's starting to seem like a familiar pattern with the Killer Cox and their aggressive uh, nature of pushing forward. Um, so we might be expecting a lot more of that. That's, that's actually very exciting, especially against a team like Gaffey. <clears throat> Yeah, look, I mean, Killer Cox, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm rooting for them. I know all these players. They're awesome people, and uh, and they're awesome players. Um, man, they just know this game really well, and they really do put in the time, the effort, the training, all of that um, to be able to, to perform the way that they do. Um, and they're still – they just to finish up the season, they were still in second place. So, I mean, this is a tough season, dude. We had a really long, nice, tough season up against all of these great squads. Um, I don't know, man, uh, just where we are tonight, what, what Gaffey has been able to do all season and uh, to put them into the playoffs along with Killicox. It's it's fun matchup all night. Absolutely. It's going to be very exciting, very explosive throughout the night, so do not expect us to just be probably a lopsided match. This is going to be a very evened out match. Um, we're going to see who's going to be able to overtake it first and see who's going to get their lead. You know. All yeah, I think we're already doing a host switch right now. I've lost uh, Chuck's feed. Uh, I see Diego live uh, on YouTube. <laughs> The aggressive yeah, nature know. of Killer Cox is kind of wearing me a little bit because at one point they 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 got a couple players down in the very beginning, and Gaffey had a good opportunity to take advantage. I think the grenade really took you know took it over for for Killer Cox and losing one of their star players very early on. Mm -hmm. And just seeing that, I'm thinking to myself like these games are going to be a lot tighter than than what we're probably expecting them to be. I mean, you know, Killer Cox is a heavy hitting team. And, you know, Gaffey was in third place leading up to, like, the very last week of, of the season before the last few games were played that, that turned everything around and, and pushed them all the way down to, to the seventh spot uh, position. But all those positions were only a point, you know, between one to four point differential between all of us, you know, between third to, to eighth place. So all these teams are going to be putting up incredible fights and expect the unexpected here. I think Hugo is going to be, uh, be a big surprise here for the Gaffey team. Yeah, I mean, look, at the uh, at the finish of the season, in eighth place, you had Top Gun um, at 56 points. Seventh place was Gaffey at 58. So a two-point difference. Mm -hmm. Tied with Super Sweet Potatoes, you guys. So And then that was sixth place. Fifth place 
was 59 points, Cobra Chickens. So only one point difference between that. And they had a great season. Um, Chronic Master Gators or CMG, uh, they finished up with 63 points. Meat Pie finishing up with 67 points, a four-point difference there. And then from there, there's a big leap. So you've got Killer Cox, who was 10 points ahead. They were in second place and then uh, with 77 points and then murder kittens in a whole different realm with 93 points uh, finishing up in first place for the season. So, um, but the beauty part about the playoffs is, is that the points are just a wash. Now the, Mm -hmm. the, tie ups the, the you and you know i mean the the people that they're playing up against are it, they are tough squads dude you've really got to bring your a game you, everything's got to like you said the stars need to align up um that's right and you've the comms got to be there the the every placement your grenades and and your and the timing of throwing those out everything matters um and i think that no matter what where you are even gaffe finishing up what in seventh place uh they still have a chance to be able to be able to take over killer Cox, same as what's going to happen tomorrow night with top gun versus uh, murder kittens so it is even steven when the playoffs start off so it's it's always fun man it's a, it's a very exciting for sure I- I think we're heading into something now. I don't know if it's going to be a lag test. Oh, no, I think they're resetting stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They so they're getting up. A... Yeah, we all know that sometimes this happens. We all play firewall. I know uh, earlier tonight I was playing. Um, God, who was it? It was uh, me and Chuck, and I had Timber uh, there. And. Uh, Oh man, I can't remember the fourth. I'm really sorry about the fourth, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but can I remember the f- oh, uh, Zed Zurander? I don't know. Has anybody ever played with him? Zed Absolutely. Zurander. Yeah. That dude community. was a beast today, man. He was a really nice guy, and uh, he was a beast. And he just bounces in, and he just kind of like just went with the flow with us, and we would just like we never we never lost. We did a great job today, so uh, had a great time uh, playing a little bit of firewall, but. Man, it's gonna be crazy with the VR too. I can't wait. I just can't wait. It's gonna be so exciting. I actually just bought my nephew a, a PSVR. He was extremely excited because he got his PS5. So I was trying to introduce him to some firewall. He might be a little bit too young to understand it so far. I, I, we played a few games, but he didn't really seem to get the hang of it right away. So we're giving him a little bit of time, see if we can make him a little super sweet potato. But uh, yeah, man, it'd be very interesting, you know, to see what the future brings up with the PSVR 2 and the whole new catalog of games that come with it, you know, not just, you know, a firewall style game, but everything else, you know, an Astro Bots 2, um, and, a, and a lot of, of amazing titles. But for me personally, I'm, I'm expecting the first shooter, whatever it is, I'm hoping there's something amazing coming along for the first shooter world, because that's the world I like, you know, and I'm pretty sure most of the community would agree that. I mean, for a PSVR one coming out with Firewall right off the bat as a as a first first shooter experience, uh, I've been, mm-hmm. I'm in love. I can't wait to see what PSVR two got to bring. How old is the nephew? Uh, he's just about in his teens, early teens. I think about like thirteen. I think he is. Yeah. Oh man, he's Firewall ready. You just got to give him a little bit more time. Throw him in the training. I think he's scared, you know what I mean? I think he's scared to die right away. You know, he needs to get ready to fight. You know, he's afraid a little bit of the violence, I think, but he'll get there. You got to throw it. him in the training. You can throw him in the training or or <laughs> make him play make him play far point. That way he gets like into a a little bit of a comfortability with the aim controller. I don't know how you throw him in the training. With those like alien spider things that jump into your face. <laughs> he might freak out. Man, I just, I uh, I screamed earlier. I know uh, I know Chuck was saying he likes playing with me just as simply because of that. But I thought I was gonna scare off Zed because I was like, dude, I'm really sorry, but I still get scared and shocked with Firewall, and I scream. I like I scream, dude. <laughs> so I like I never while. play uh, I never play scary games. I've got like the I've said this before, but like the Resident Evil game. Mm-hmm. Totally have it. Totally got it. It was, uh, you know, a PlayStation Plus game. We got it for free. Still haven't played it. Yeah. No, not for you. I watched you play it. I watched you play it. <laughs> I, I get that. I started watching your stream because you started playing that Resident Evil game, and I kept telling you, I was like, just don't do it. Just in the chat, just don't do it, Brent. Uh, that's some. That's the early days. I'll, I'll tell you that one of the scariest games I think I've gotten to play um, was it Resident Evil. Actually, I didn't even find that to be too scary. There's a game mm-hmm. called Friday Night's Freddy's. I don't know if anybody's played that game right away or at all. 
but it's one of the games that came with the bundle when I bought the PSVR. And Friday Night Freddy's is like Chuck E. Cheese, but your worst nightmare. Like it's like you see like this like uh, band of of like creatures and yeah, nah, it's 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 like your childhood worst nightmare. Like it's just the worst thing ever. <laughs> but I highly recommend it. if you like scary stuff. You know, Friday Night Freddy's. That's something you're gonna want to try. Definitely a fun game. Definitely get you screaming, even if you don't want to. Ooh, what what is this? So PSVR two release. Um, so uh, there's a new poll right now in the chat uh, for everyone who is there. Please be a part of this poll. Uh, Want to get your true opinion on this? When do you think it's going to release? The PSVR two. When do you think it's going to release? Fall, winter, or quarter one of 2023? And here we go. We're going to start back up. I think we're in bunker, but I don't know if this is a warm up or not. I don't think this is a warm up. No, I think they're going straight for it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Straight into it. Leather goes down. Goes down again. Wow. Wolf goes down. Leather is out. Wolf is out. Only Honey and Chuck are left. Wow. I think there's still three of the uh, Gaffy team still up. Holy shit. Wow. 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 Man, maybe the host change might, uh, wow. might have done something. Yep. Yeah, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this tonight. This aggressive style defense. Um, it was quite impressive to see, you know, the number, the could the cocks go down so quickly. I mean, that was a, was quite shocking. You know, they're 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 a really strong team. So to see another group of players come in and and put on that kind of show of, of shooting, it just stopped them right in their tracks. They couldn't move anymore. Started making them fall apart. Pretty impressive. I think it's really good, man. I think yeah. it's really good. I'm covering for them tonight. I love these guys, but I'm all about an underdog. Yeah. And stuff like this uh, can get inside of people's head, especially some Killy Cox, man. They don't like losing, and uh -huh. uh, it can mess with them a little bit. So they need to shake that off. <laughs> they need to shake that one off. But Gaffey, man, holy crap, what crazy plays. Hugo getting three kills on that last match. C-Rod finishing up everything with his one kill. Uh, Moonlight was the only one who went down, and that was at the hands of Honeycock. She was able to get one kill. Wolfcock was able to get a revive, and Cockamus Prime was able to get a revive. That's it. That was Holy quite crap, impressive. Man. Very quick. It was, it was quick. Man, you know, in, 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 the, in the crazy part about it is that, I, I mean, personally, I didn't expect Gaffey to be so aggressive. I expected them to kind of take their time. I mean, you saw the first guy kind of setting up some traps, but the other three went straight for it. <laughs> they did not wait. They met him right at the middle. They kind of knew where they were coming from and went straight to town, man. And that's, that's going to be – I think we're going to see that more or probably at one point we're not going to see it at all. We're going to see everybody slow down and start taking their time to, to, to get to their, their places. So it's going to be very exciting, man. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah. I like this. I like this good start. Uh, I am really liking this poll. Uh, if you haven't gotten in this poll, get in this poll. This poll is really good. Yeah. PSVR 2 release. When do you think it's going to be released? Fall of 2022, winter of 2022, quarter one of 2023. Uh, so far... 50% uh, of you say it's going to be the winner of 2022. Uh, next is quarter one of 2023. And uh, in last place so far is fall of 2022. So, wow. I'm going to kind of lean that, 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 yeah, I would say about the winter time. I mean, it seems like about right time for Christmas, you know, a lot of holiday presents. Seems like you'll go hot, like hot cakes, you know, that'd be the right time to do it. Huge shout out for the bits, Willie Teabagger. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate you. Frankie, one shot. Thanks for being here. No, I thought you were fighting. Savage 49. There you are again, sir. It's Rodicus, Exoticus. What's going on, buddy? I already gave you a shout out, so I'm going to do it again. I like scaffolding. Yeah. All right. We're entering district. It's a good one. It's a safe one. This is a good one. If they, uh, if they push yeah. up, uh... Let's go. Okay, they're on the left, two, two on the left, at the bottom. And let me see the other two, wait a minute. Maybe they're going to be on the other side. 
Ok, hay uno en el ojo arriba, uno en el ojo arriba. Vente, vente para acá, Diego. Acá, acá otro es el ojo, vente para acá. Por favor. Voy. So, dos a la izquierda y uno, uno creo que está arriba con el, con el del ojo, güey. Sí, a la izquierda al fondo hay dos, güey. Atrás del carro blanco. Y creo que por ahí va a haber uno, eh, cerca oh, del que right. tiene el ojo. No action just yet. Voy a checar aquí de volada. Lots and lots of comms. On okay, district, we've said this all season. Assume that everything that you do is being watched. Eagle Arriba Eye is always heavily used on district. Ya se quitó, ya se quitó, ya se quitó. Saben que vamos para allá. Son dos. ¿Dónde están? Necesito saber dónde están. ¿Me voy por la puerta, güey? ¿Quién es? No, sí. Ok, dos hasta atrás en el carro blanco. Uno adentro en la computadora. Y el otro no lo veo. Esto es lo que puedo decir, güey. Ok. Acá. Both squads very cautious. Por ahí está uno que no veo, güey. No lo encuentro, no lo encuentro, güey. No se ve, no se ve, güey. No lo encuentro. I like the change in pace on this one. This is going to be very down to the wire. It's going to be using the clock to the T. Hay un. Honeycock staying on top of the comms. Really good on that. And keeping notice of the clock. Voy, voy, voy. Aguas. Cúbreme, cúbreme. Ok, uno en la tienda de la computadora, exactamente enfrente de la computadora, esperando. Y dos atrás en el carro blanco, igual. Sí, atrás. El tercero no lo veo, el cuarto no lo veo. Sí, güey. Donde no hay cámaras, aquí atrás. Ok, chequeé otra vez, chequeé otra vez los del carro blanco. Voy. Oh, ok. Ok, está uno en la mera puerta y uno en la, en la computadora. Y otro en el carro blanco está atrás. Ok, uno está en la computadora. Dos en la computadora. Uno está en la mera puerta, en la doble puerta y otro atrás en el carro blanco. Oh, el otro está en el ojo, ya son los cuatro. Oh, man, los cuatro. Dos atrás en el carro blanco man. y dos dentro la, en la computadora hoy. Dos minutos, eh. <ríe> Yeah, I mean, there's great comms. They're holding down that corner really well, but I mean, they, and really, no exchange. I mean, shooting in the air, basically. Avanza, güey. Aguas. Avanza, mon. Tú tienes tú más el... Aguas ahí con contusiones o algo, güey. Aguas, mon. Por ahí están. Ya estamos acá abajo, güey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to go down. Here are grenades. Sí, ahí están, güey. Un minuto veinte, chavos, ¿eh? Sí, sí, sí. No hay nada en la puerta, no puedes mirar. Ya no puedo ver, güey, está acá. están hasta atrás dos, en el igual carro blanco, y creo que están dos dentro, güey. Uh, uh. ¿Te pongo contigo o no, güey? Un minuto, tenemos que avanzar, ¿eh? Uh, uh, grenades go out. Cuarenta y cinco, cuarenta y cinco segundos, güey. Ahorita ahí vamos, deténganos ahí todavía, vamos a... Aguanta, Hugo. Mada, fuera. No, cabrón. Me dijo, pero te estoy diciendo que venga conmigo, verga. Vente, uno avanza, güey. No, no, pero, pero es que... Uno está dentro, uno está dentro, está tirado. Está tirado a la izquierda. Y ya se va. Wow. Leathercock going down. Getting back up. Wow. I don't think <laughs> Doug worried about his KDR uh, or DSAW, sorry. Yeah, um, right now the comms are is that was an awkward hold, but it worked. But um, they, they held it down really well, man. I, I really I, I think it was a good exchange. Gaffe wasn't too jumpy. They didn't just rush out there. Uh, it was good plays on them, but uh, Diego was only able to get one kill. Um, and over on the cock side, it was Leathercock who got three kills. He was he was the only one who was killed by Diego. Uh, but Leathercock got three kills and Honeycock getting uh, the last kill. Wolfcock getting two revives. So.
Man. Nice hole on the, on this trend. It was a good hole. I mean, it was very unorthodox to see them so far back, you know, by the scaffold. I thought they'd be a little bit closer, you know, towards the market, but man, they worked out for them and their benefit. Uh, a couple of those grenades made a big difference where when they pushed up towards the, the wall, getting closer to the trash can, those grenades wiped out the two players that were standing there for Gaffey's team. But the way they slowed it down, the, the way they used it down to the minutes, you know, to the last few minutes, the last few seconds, I mean, it was going to be, this is going to be quite an impressive match. I mean, these guys are sizing each other up very well. I'd like to see what Gaffey can do here on the defense. Yeah, did you see what map they chose? Uh, that was district. They got to do the the defensive side right now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you got to do it. So we're heading back in there. <laughs> Good comments so far. What's up, Momo Cupcakes? Just saw she jumped in here. How are you? Or maybe you've been here for a while, and I'm sorry I just missed you, but what's going on? And what's up, Titch? How are you? Don't forget about Rocket League, uh, Amateur Hour RL for Rocket League. Mr. Titch has been handling that up very well. Um, should I go over there give him a like? All right, Gaffy starting off on red staircase. Do you know that Savage watch watches AHC and takes dumps at the same time? No way. It's <laughs> totally true, man. Totally true. True story. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a loyal fan right there. Appreciate you, Savage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Diabolical. What's going on? Thanks for being here, bro. She went right stairs. Okay, all the way in the back, like over, like over the wall, not the... You see him? Two walls back from the toolbox. Very quickly, Killer Cox already pushed up the red staircase. Yeah, right next to each other, though. They All right, one left who's scabbing. He's coming hard left where the eagle eye is on the left. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, leather goes Fish. down. Yeah, Gets frags. revived quickly. He's gonna have Fish. to get Fish. out of there. Leave me, leave me, leave me. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Back down. He's out. Oh. There you go. Oh, they're oh, pushing through. Off wall up there. Watch the frag. Fuck, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt as two fuck. Two toolbox, two behind the one eagle eye spot, and then one in like in the middle, far back. Two in the middle, far back, two toolbox. There's still four up? Yes. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't get that guy? Shit. It's all good. Wow. Okay, one still four forward. members of Gaffe standing. These guys are getting discouraged by it. Uh, this is how you go at Kill a Cox. Cock gets Hugo down. Nice. He gets one, revived. Close corner, close corner on the now. And he cock gets nice. to see elimination on Moon Knight. Shit. Chuck gets Hugo shit. down again. Oh, oh shit. Dude. Oh, Chuck oh, goes down. Oh. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Gaffey holds it down and Should they get their win. <laughs> wow. <laughs> good hold, Gaffey. Oh shit. Yeah, good <laughs> Look hold. At this. That could have turned around very quickly if uh, they had pushed out aggressively and, and gotten caught in the middle of those grenades. I think they held back. Good stuff. Man, man. Uh, best of 11, dude. Best of 11. I'm going to say, yeah. holy crap. Where are we? 2-2 two, two right now. 2-2. Two, two. If, um, if Chuck would actually just... There you go, Chuck. All right, on that last match, you've got... Uh, over on Gaffey's side, they were able to, to hold that one down and keep their defense. Hugo was able to get one kill. Moonlight got a revive. Diego got two kills, one revive, and C-Rod got one kill. That's how you do it. Uh, they did lose Hugo and Moonlight. They lost them to Chuckamus Prime or Cockamus Prime and Honeycock. Uh, each of them got one kill, and Cockamus Prime was able to get one revive. But they didn't. Uh, really shocked. I'm, I, man, I'm really, I'm really shocked right now. Gaffey, dude, they, they've had a great season, but they're holding their own tonight. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be rooting for the, for the Killicocks, but it's just crazy what's going on. Oh yeah. When you see an underdog come out and they're not really underdogs, to be honest with you, Gaffey is one of the heck of a strong team. It's just that yeah, the dude. point differentials were, were very minimal, but I mean, even when they faced up, I think the very first time, you know, Killer Cox still had a little bit of a trouble with, with Gaffey and it's going to, they, they came ready to play. I'm, I'm pretty sure they both studied each other up. Um, Killer Cox doesn't seem to want to change their approach with the aggressive attack. They just keep pushing forward. Uh, it seems like the defense, they're slowing down. 
So let's see what progresses from here moving forward. If, if they might slow down a little bit more um, to see if they get better at these attacks. Uh, but, you know, the way Gaffey's holding down, they, they might not let him take a, a single defense at all for the rest of this match. So we got to see how this Ooh, is going to turn out. I hope not. I man, I like this this yeah. tennis, this back and forth, back and forth. I absolutely, it's the best of the best, uh, except during playoffs because, holy shit, dude, it could be <laughs> it could be up all the way up to twenty one matches played. 21. It is very possible, and so far the way that it looks, I mean, all the way to the end. But uh, look at look at what all your bits did. Thanks for <laughs> we should say thanks for all the weed money, people. <laughs> <laughs> Brown's My eyes are squinty back. again. <laughs> <laughs> They're back. <laughs> hey, man, keep me happy. You're paying those bills. <laughs> oh, see, if you want googly eyes, tap, uh, type brown in uh, in the chat. That's what our our producer wrote. And uh, good all lord, right. look at After look at all that match, brown. Might come back out. <laughs> it's so brown. <laughs> it's brown, baby. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a comment from Nick. <laughs> Oh, guys, you guys are amazing. Did he really here. laugh my ass off? Yes, he did, Titch. And I'm telling you, for an entire, for the first half of, or first section of the uh, of the matchup here. So, yeah, it was hilarious. So, oh, look no, at all the brand, dude. Love it, love it. Where are we at? It looks like we're in Embassy. Hey, uh, should I put a, should I put a concussion? Yeah, right. right. Back in Embassy. Um, yeah, yes, at the bottom. Love Embassy. That's one of the best maps. I love that map. Wow, right away. Wow. Right away. Run right back upstairs. Avanza, avanza, vente cruz, vente cruz, vente cruz. Muevete, Croc. Now, what's at the izquierda, Croc? Kill a cock cat. One yeah. great spawn point for the laptop for the defense. It's one of the safer places in the embassy map. Reachable, but it's a very hard breach. Brown, what are some of the uh, the callouts from Gaffe? Can you can you hear anything? I actually cannot hear them clearly. Let me see if I can okay. get some some voices here. Good comms on Killa Cox, a little spread out, but I think they've got a better idea of where uh, how the approach is going to be taken. Pretty smart move on Gaffe. They land a motion sensor right underneath Chuck, so his spot is a dead giveaway. And he's not moving. Oh, no, but you open the door. Okay. But you know They got a great defense point. I wouldn't move either. That's a great spot. La que esté más cerca, güey, te regresas en putiza, güey. Wow, look at all the lasers. Grenades go out, they push back. Wow, great grenade placement. Chuck goes down. Wow. Another double. <laughs> oh wow okay still one member there was uh somebody died at the very very end don't know how but um Killcox takes that win on embassy they hold down that was actually a great push by gaffey i mean it was quite impressive that they were able to take out so many of the the killer cox with those grenades 
uh, well placed and the movement that they did, the coordination and the timing was actually right on the money. They almost got it. I mean, they, they actually almost got that that defense. So, you know, good job for Gaffey. I mean, I'm not I wouldn't be upset with that play at all. It just didn't pan out. Yeah, honestly, th- this kind of that match kind of reminded me of of how you guys were playing the other night. It was a coordinated push. It was all, always like the way that it should be done. It's just, man, they would be outshot or the grenades would be thrown just slightly faster. And that's kind of what we saw. It was a very good push on Gaffe. They did a damn good job on it. I love the coordination and uh, and the communication on their side, man. But they were not able to uh, to overtake. Gaffe Moonlight was able to get one kill. Uh, Diego was able to get a revive, and C Rod was able to get a kill. Um, of that, I don't know who they got. So you've got Wolfcock, who was uh, who got two kills, and Lettercock was able to get a kill and a revive. So I guess they killed one of them, killed themselves. I don't know, but anyway, uh, that's what happened. You had Honeycock, who was the uh, the last member who was standing on that. Oh yeah. Hey Momo, thank it's you so much for the bits. Really appreciate the biddies. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate Momo. that. Look at all the cupcakes. Shout out to Momo. That's right. But Gaffey, Momo... I mean, go ahead. I'm so, I'm sorry. Did you see Momo the other day? She was actually uh, she was hosting with Titch. Uh, That's right. I think they were doing some Rocket League stuff. That was crazy. If nobody knows or has seen Momo, go back to AHC and also AHCRL, uh, and you'll get to see Momo and and how she hosts and her her abilities. She was awesome. She did great. Absolutely. She so did. I'm sorry. That was that was just a quick little bit. So what were you saying? <laughs> sorry no, about did. that, man. She did absolutely fantastic. I actually thought she was really funny when she did the Bromedy show. Um, so I enjoyed that that show with Titch when, when she did that together. No, I just mm-hmm. wanted to say that that Gaffy is having one of those nights, man. That I mean, they keep doing the right thing. One of those things is going to land. Um, for us, unfortunately, when we played Meat Pie, um, you're right. It felt that way. We had a lot of coordinated attacks that that were. Like right there, they were just right at the edge, and it just wouldn't land for us. But luckily for Gaffey, they've been able to hold these defenses, and and hopefully in one of these attacks, they'll they'll land that one coordinated attack that you know is going to set them apart and, and help them move forward for the eleven point stretch. You know. Uh, by the way, this is what your bits uh, and your comments, uh, keeping the comment live and uh, and active. Uh, this is what you this is what you get. So thank you, Brown. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man, showing the support, showing all the love. These eyes are set on you. Man, that should they, yeah, that should be like your your tagline, dude. <laughs> we gotta work on this. Hey man, if it's working, let's do it. <laughs> Kill Cox starting off on the attack just right outside the conference working their way through the balcony and right oh, where they, they were setting up in the flag room this is a good setup i don't know if they kept going though oh i hear them in here There's yeah there. yeah yeah they're, they're gonna defend in there gonna hold the big area as the killer cox are trying to make yeah, their no, way wait, down wait, wait, so they, they probably have that door open and they're shooting in that hallway yeah yeah because they're all in that room Chuck are going around, but be careful. We don't know if they're all in there, Chuck. Okay, they're going to have more mods and concussions. Come up, Luke. Come up. Come up. We'll go with those ones. Watch out for more mods and concussions. Yeah, I hear one in death row. Dumbass. And the... Dumbass. Man, did Gaff aid get the bank room? Yeah, the flag. No, they got the green room right next to the big metal detector room. You want to go all the way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Seems like Gaffer holding down very tightly because uh, Killer Cox has been able to move very quickly and progressively through this map. They're almost about to. Yeah, you need yeah. some really good defense spots this way. Yeah. This is a harder place to, to, to guard. Chuck takes some shots already. Look how the team works together. All four killer cocks sticking together, not getting too close, but still sticking together. It's a really great setup. They're gonna be, be they might be behind the metal detectors. Someone might be hiding behind there. I heard it beeping, but that happens sometimes. 
Find the walls, ooh, that's gonna be... I saw one leave the laptop room and... Do you guys want me to check in here? There's a sensor here. Yeah. Are you ready for me to pop it? Both teams seem to be doing a great job of not being too far apart from each other and being there for the revives. So gonna make a big difference in this game. Ow. Wow. Door opens up, Chuck exchanges fire, and a lot of fire too. Leathercock gets it down on Diego. He gets revived by Moonlight. Honeycock gets it down on Moonlight. Oh shit, shit. Oh no. They're getting an ambush. Chuck's already over at the laptop. Oh, he's fuck. running back. Oh no. For support. Oh, running into God. fire. Oof. Door closes no, and he no, wastes a grenade. Oh you, God, look at the push. There's somebody. I'm lucky. I got you. He's still right there behind the wall. The one they're holding. Nice. Leather pushes in. That was crazy. And then they wrap it up. Holy crap, so what an exchange. Wow. I missed my dart by the That like was a, a real good push by terrible. the killer cocks. It was fucking terrible. I, look, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I'm watching Chuck's <laughs> angle only. I'm not watching Gaffe, but I have no idea how f all four members are still standing from that last match. That was nuts, dude. Yeah, that was actually very impressive. I thought at the one point when uh, Killer Cox, I think it was Leathercock, who threw the grenade, and it bounced off the head of one of his own teammates. I thought that did him in. I was like, that's it. <laughs> that's going to take a few of them out. <laughs> but it just got lucky. It just downed him, and he was able to keep moving after they got him back up. And, wow, what, what a way to hold it down. Killer B did an amazing job not letting that door, you know, let them pass through that door and take them, you know, completely out because they were down two to four, and... Man, she changed it up right away. Good job, man. Good job on the Killer Cox attack there. Very impressive. Yeah, and then unfortunately for Gaffe on that one, I mean, that was a shutout. Um, Killer Cox getting a solid win. Leathercock getting two kills, three revives. Check that out. Two kills, three revives. Honeycock getting one kill, one revive. Wolfcock getting one kill, one revive. And Cockermans Prime, he was there for great support. And I think he hacked the laptop. We saw that. Uh, over on the <laughs> defense side, there was no kills at all. No kills. Um, it would be an and I mean, it was an ace. So uh, Moonlight was able to get two revives in that last match. But, I'm, man, it was amazing. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know how the hell nobody died. I, well, I know it was Dr. Leathercock over there with three revives and Honeycock and Wolfcock. So, I mean, five revives in one match. Uh, that's, that's a lot to try to keep your members alive and going. So a mean fight. Yeah, it just shows the, the impressive nature of the Killer Cox. And, and like I said, that revive, it was going to make the world of a difference. I mean, at one point they were outnumbered two to four. And that that should have been it right there. It should have just, you know, should have been over for the Killer Cox. But somehow, some way, they managed to get their teammates up quickly and effectively and keep firing upon the enemy and never letting it down. You know, they, they, they just couldn't, you know, they were very relentless. It was, it was very impressive stuff. So here we are again, like uh, where Gaffe needs to start to worry because on that last match was their defense match. And it was Killer Cox who was able to overtake that defense and get that point. Because of that, Gaffe needs to work twice as hard now because now they have to catch back up uh, if they're going to keep this, this back and forth going. If they lose another one, then they're going to just see even more distance and even more until all of a sudden the 11 points are going to be there and Killer Cox will take the win so gaffe has to change up the game plan map selection is absolutely critical at this point so let's see how they play it out and uh good luck to both squads yeah. absolutely eating each other's ass all right and it is killicox <laughs> starting off on the defense on black on site black site mm -hmm. yeah. It always uh, starts to look like fob at the beginning in the tent. Right. Right. Just saying. All right. Shit. Está muy peligroso, Crot. Bueno, lo bajaste, güey. The good thing is that Gaffey still has quite a few games left before they hit the nine, I mean, the 11 point mark. So they have a good amount of time before they need to make up that, that one round. 
The sooner the better, though. The sooner the better. Yeah, so really interesting, too. I don't know if anyone noticed, but Leathercock is in the game, and Frankie is out. Um, I don't know what the strategy was behind that or if they just need to do that to fill in spots, but thought that was interesting. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do that. Thank you for the bits, punishment. Appreciate you very much, sir. Aguas, cuida tu izquierda, Crode. Sí, estoy mirando, güey. Ok. Vengan acá, vengan acá. Vengan acá. Se va a sumar otra vez, man. Caffey is very well aware of uh, their surroundings right now and where the killer cocks are placed. Doing a great job in setting up a strategy to make an attack soon. Yeah, Chuck was getting on to leather a little bit because I think he was pushed out a little bit too much. It was making Chuck very much uncomfortable and kept asking him to pull back, which he did. Um, Chuck's about to make his first contact. Aquí trae humos, podemos pasar por la derecha, güeyes, con humos. ¿Están listos para pechar un poco? ¿Qué hiciste, güey? Humos ahí, güey, gente. Got you, productions, uh, got Wolf. Explaining that situation, basically, uh, Frankie lost his comms and they couldn't get it back up, so they had to bring in a, uh, a sub. Ahí enfrente hay uno. Clot, de este lado aguas. Doble tiro aquí. Thanks, Clot. Wolf. Kef is doing a great job in communicating to each other of uh, setting up their play at the current moment. Wolfcock gets it down on Hugo and an elimination on him. Moonlight is completely eliminated. It's four on two. They're pushing and they're on motion. Bad deal. Quite impressed about Kafe's ability to give comms so calmly in such a like panicky moment. Look at that. Look at that flanker, man. Holy shit. Diego coming out of nowhere. And uh, he didn't get anywhere with it, but what a great move he tried to make. And also, let me just say, the motion sensor behind the trash can, uh, I want to say it was Chuck who placed that one. It was a fantastic motion sensor and helped him the entire way. So he gave out great comms on that. So great placement. I hope everyone saw that. Yeah, they're doing a great job. The Killer Cox are, are doing a great job in all their defenses. They they won mm -hmm. over uh, two of their offenses, which is, you know, pretty remarkable, um, being how great Gaffey's been holding down their defenses. But unfortunately right now, Killer Cox has the upper hand and it might be turning the ties for Gaffey. Hopefully Gaffey is strong enough to hold, the, you know, their, their emotional state together, not get, you know, intimidated by, by the score and are able to press forward from this moment on. Yeah, they can totally do it. Uh, look, Black Sight may not have been the one, you know, but they need to make sure that they overtake a defense and that they hold down their defense as best as they can. So when they go back to Black Sight on this next match, they really need to win it. Um, and if they can win it, then they know that they can proceed on and then this is going to be a tight match. They can keep a little bit of a lead, but not too much. Um, man, they give up another defense and it's just going to make it even harder and harder. But uh, on that last match, you had Killercox who took that win. Uh, it was Leathercock who got a kill. Honeycock got a kill and Wolfcock getting two kills. So uh, what a guy. No, uh, Nobody went down on that last one. So technically it was an ace.
So uh, over on the gaffe yeah, side, impressive. no kills and no revives. Very impressive. Kill a Cox. Hey, guys, really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us. Thank you so much, man. You guys are making me smile as much as hopefully I'm making you smile. But, yeah, keep looking into my eyes because I'm looking at you. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Oh, man, you got Punishment VR giving out 100 bits. Savage uh, 49er giving out 100 bits. Thank you so much. I know I said, yeah, yep, there it is. Momo who gave 100 bits. Thank you so much to everyone so far. Uh Man, I'm so happy we brought Brown on. All of a sudden, it's like <laughs> you got a uh, you got the the sexy eyes going on, and uh, <laughs> Willie Teabagger throwing out the hundred bits. Look into Willie's eyes. <laughs> Look into my eyes, Willie. Ma Look into let my him eyes. earn that bit. Earn those bits. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Man, I'm squinting behind these eyes so oh, bad, man. I can barely see anything. <laughs> Look, just so, all right, so they're about to start back up here. We are back into Black Site. And you've got uh, Killicox on the attack, starting back by the tents. No? <laughs> you didn't get that try to get that fireball or were you just joking around? <laughs> no comment. Don't don't answer her. <laughs> I know better. As your attorney, I advise you not to say shit. <laughs> I got some smokes, by the way, uh, too. One by the dumpster, maybe? Someone real close. Oh, yeah, yeah, someone is close. One up top. Top left, we're walking. Uh, I'm a Coral, let me see. I'm gonna I'm put a Simpson. Sim oh, oh, I got blown. Oh, shit. Get out of there, babe. They're gonna yeah. try to do stuff because they gotta hit them. Okay, it's up to you. One bottom left. Yeah, they're gonna do stuff. Shots being exchanged. Chuck's got a nice little sneaky spot, but not making any contact. Oh, yeah. Impact, maybe? Okay. I have sticky. I think I can get impacts over this building. Oh, no, never mind. He moved. Kathy's making great communication between each other, preventing the killer cocks from moving forward. Are you still red? I'm not. Right, ready? Oh, he, I don't see him now. You wanna? Um, hey, if he goes down, or if anyone goes down over there, Chuck, maybe there's smoke or. I don't see him. Maybe he moved. He oh, there he is. There. He's over the wall. Uh, Shots hey, exchanged. Oh, Chuck is absolutely red eyed. He's gonna have to back off, take a breather. Yeah, Alright, yeah, I'm red too. I'm gonna chill. Rick, did you get a sensor behind you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Big shout out to Yellow Ranger. Thanks for being here, man. Whew. And they all take shots at him. Oh, oh no, <laughs> Chuck. Chuck blows himself up. He's out. Unlucky. We saw Naughty do this the other night. Naughty, I'm calling you out. But we did see Naughty do this. You got to kind of slow down. Noted did it for us too. <laughs> By mistake. Leather was able to get a down on Moonlight, but he was able to get it revived. So we're back to where we were. In a moment like this, that 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 has to be a painful mistake. Oh wow! Everyone's pushing now. Leathercock's the last member standing. Can he, he lay down the D sauce and get out of this? I got it. Get to the right, Mon. Pero cubre te voy a aguas por atrás, eh. Cafe has all of their members still standing. Deja lo que venga. It's looking good for Gaffey. Yeah. Está enfrente, Mon. Well, they're not going down without a fight. Get C Rod down. And Moonlight finishes up. Moonlight oh, finishes it all up. 
Dime, estoy tirado o me llegaron. Good defense by Gaffer. <laughs> sí, pero no sabía qué estaba pasando. Like si era, It's just very unlucky because unlucky because that, that one grenade that took out Chuckamus, I mean, it, it could have changed the whole dynamics of the game moving forward. I mean, if he had been able to survive and suppose that grenade had actually hit something or just not killed him, it would have made a big difference. You know, that, that, that would have changed the game for sure for the, for the Killer Cox, but it went into the benefit of Gaffey. So 3-5 is the score right now, and got to see what's going to happen moving forward. Either yeah, Absolutely. Fun. Yeah, absolutely. Gaffey uh, putting a little bit of a smackdown on the uh, on the Killicocks. Maybe they got pissed off about the Aces because they got their first one tonight right now. Um, I know it doesn't count as far as points, but it is good just to say. Uh, Moonlight was able to get one kill and one revive. Hugo was able to get two kills and Diego to uh, get one revive. Um, and unfortunately, Chuck killed himself, so that's all they had to do, man. That was only three kills, but uh, Chuck made it easy for him. Uh, over <laughs> on the Killicock side, you've got Honeycock who was able to get one revive, and that is it. That's what happened on that match. So Gaffey holds down their defense very well uh, on Black Sight, which is absolutely what they needed to do. And uh, I think they they stepped it up, dude. Without a doubt, they stepped it up. So uh, interesting what the next map is going to be because I truly think it's very important. Um, this is doable, man. Gaffey can bounce right back from this so easy. They got lots and lots of time. This is not your normal season match. No. So we'll see what happens. You know, I would also like to point out that during the embassy match that, that began the turnaround, um, Killer Cox got a great spawn point. They got the green room, which, you know, only allows you to go through two points, and it's a very tight spot. Um, on the other hand, Gaffey had that green room at the bottom where it's like next to the metal detector room and that one like uh, cubicle setup that they have at the bottom, which, you know, there are two major points where people could, actually there's about like three major points where people could enter at any given point. So it was a very hard spot to hold. I seemed a little bit confused as to where they wanted to hold it. And, you know, that, that might, might have been, you know, why that result was what it was, but Maybe the spawn points here might make a big difference if Killer Cox get a bad spawn point that they can't defend properly. Who knows? Maybe Gaffey can take the upper hand. We got to see and find out. Uh, shout out to uh, people in the comments here. Savage's comment here. AAC trying to switch focus on to Rocket League, but that community is not going to shower love like this one. I agree. I love Firewall more than Rocket League too, but Rocket League is a big game, so who knows? We'll see. Also, you've got Yellow yeah, Ranger with a comment. Yeah, Momo Cupcakes. Yeah, I can only watch this for so long before I have to go shoot. And you've got Exotica saying, this is a family show. So, very good comments. Keep Keep them rolling. <laughs> Here we are in office. <laughs> I just, I, mean, I read it. I thought it was too good not to read, so why not? Moon, Moon is el que sabe cómo jugar más, güey. So back here in office, and Gaffy is now making some contact. Chuck's pushing now. And he's getting yelled at by his by his team. Oh God, they're t overtaking. Oh wow, lucky. Oh, on the right, they're getting flanked. Holy shit! How many revives just in that one spot? Cafe's down to one player left. Yeah, all four members of Killicock still standing. Uh, looking pretty good for them right now. Ooh, but not Chuck. He's solid red. I'll tell you, Gaffey's comms are pretty impressive. I mean, they, they almost got a couple wow. of players down. And then interaction and by Chuck the gets Diego. Woo. Sorry, B, but 
I was thinking you saw it. It was actually a really great great play that they just did right there. Um, Chuck took a bunch of shots from Diego from the zigzag, and uh, Diego backed off and uh, went down the stairs. Chuck went immediately down the middle stairs, uh, not only to give himself some time to to take a breath and get the red out, but also just to, um, you know, cover that middle. And Diego came right in front of Chuck, and he was able to easily take him out with coverage too. So uh, really good comms on uh, Killicox on that one. <laughs> I just All read right. that right now. <laughs> yep, yep. So a hundred bits for the googly shakes on uh, on, on pit two. size. You get two. <laughs> you get two. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my god, I love the sound of it. That's the thing. That's I love the sound. Oh, Damn. I was talking. I should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> on, no, on, on that last match, you had Gaffe who lost that match. It was C Rod who was able to get one revive, and that was it for them. Over on the Killicock side, they took that win. Cockamus Prime was able to get two kills. Check this out Wolfcock was able to get one kill and three revives. Leathercock getting one revive, and Honeycock finishing everything up with one kill. So another ace for them. I think Gaffey had the right idea. I mean, they, they came out of the kitchen. They separated. They had one flanker go to the far left. The only bad thing that I saw that happened was that they encountered Killer Cox all together, four on three, right at the middle staircase, and it just didn't pan out for Gaffey. Had at least, you know, two or three of those members stood standing after that interaction, and a flanker would have been available to, to commence his attack. They might have been able to turn it in their favor. They actually had a very good flank happening. It's just that the three pay, the three members went down pretty quickly and it cost them that, that, that one round, but it was a great, it was a great idea. I mean, I, I think they're heading in the right direction with the, with the plan, so, you know, with how they want to attack. So congratulations to Gaffey there. They, they did it pretty well. No doubt you could hear some confusion on the Killicox side, uh, the way that the push was. And I do agree. Like if, if Gaffey would have done a coordinated push, but with better coverage, they would have won that match without a doubt. Um, they had Cock- Cockermas Prime down at least tw- twice on that match, having to get revived, making force in his team, who was telling him not to push out, forcing his team to send out all the revives and get clustered there. If they would have stayed on top, they would have taken that. Absolutely. I got some... Oh yeah. All right, we're right into the end of the action. Uh, no, no, no. Cox on the yeah. attack this time, and they are working their way through the cafeteria at this moment. Mm-hmm. Did that one that was in front of us run right? <laughs> I think Ranger's trying to take all your credit, Brown. He's trying to steal your thunder. Yeah, I don't see anything. He made a suggestion during the match. Yeah, I did hear it. Oh. There you go. I gave him a credit. I gave him his credit. Credit, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It is Babs' idea. <laughs> She's the one suggesting it first. <laughs> oh, so close. So close, Ranger. <laughs> she was like two days ahead of you. Where's the laptop at? In the back? Oh, they got a motion here? Or is that y'all's? Sorry if y'all can hear that. Doors open right here. Hmm. I might go below to get the firewall. You see something? I saw two over here on my 12 earlier. Okay. Hey, can we get the jammer? Where is it? Oh, where do you think it's at? Uh, wow, this is getting intense here. Uh, probably against that wall. 
the clock is winding yeah, down so and they're still trying to figure something out. They've got a good idea as far as the defense setup. I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty standard setup for office, which is the, really the great spot for defense. Absolutely. Oh. Yes. You want me to hit it? Chuck was a little no, bit shocked with the uh, with the time. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh, Chuck oh, killed himself gosh. again. Yo lo revo, yo lo revo, yo lo revo. Oh wow! Double tiro con nuevo sin para que lo elimine. Wow! And only Wolfcock is standing. He's gonna have a lot of lot to do it's gotta get gotta get the two members up but they're gonna be double firing right on them yep wolf goes down now good god get out of there it'd be gonna quadruple firing raid right there wow <sighs> all three killicocks or three of them still standing now back up Ven para acá, ven para acá, ven para acá. Ven para acá, ven Oh, Leathercock goes down at the middle of the stairs. They're throwing grenades. He's out. Wolfcock, Honey, wow. trying to get any type of defense they can. Honey goes around. Look at the shift. Acá arriba, ¿ha? 42 ¿De dónde seconds sí, sí, left on the clock. Wolf goes down again. That's it for him. He can't go down anymore. That was a good shift by Gaffy. Wow. Diego gets Honey down. Oh, wow. And Wolf. Wow. Wow, man. Gaffey takes that. They uh, they hold down that defense. <laughs> and, man, the trick plays that they had to do on that, it threw, it threw Killicox off without a doubt. Um, being able to defend the downstairs, but somehow they flank two, come around, and go down the middle stairs and end up taking out Leathercock from there. Uh, crazy, crazy play there. Really smart. Um, and on that, to wrap that up, that was another that was another ace on uh, on Gaffe too. So really great plays on them. Great defense. Hugo was able to get two kills. Gaffe Diego was able to get one kill and one revive. And of course, Chuck killed himself. So they only had to get three kills to get that ace. So there you go. And over on the Killicock side, there was no kills. But get this, Wolfcock again getting three revives and Honeycock getting two revives. So geez, uh, those two crazy i wonder if it's like the nerves that like chuck might be like you know like just you know panicking up a little bit and boom just accidentally hits the button by mistake just a little bit too I, early without a doubt without I, a doubt that's all it is it's I, quick I, movements I, this dance but yeah I, I felt like he had it and then like as soon as he turned he might have made that mistake and squeezed the gun a little bit too hard and just blew himself up right 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 that moment but it's just unlucky and by the way chuck i do owe you one googly eye shake Stare into my eyes. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. You say for me? <laughs> I don't know if anybody watches that on SNL, that, that guy. You say for me? <laughs> I don't know. You ever see that? I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you, man. It's so great if you haven't seen it. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Oh. All right. So we're looking to do another host change. And, uh, man, so far, exciting matches all the way through and through, six to four. I mean, we've hit the uh, 10 mark, and we've got to see who's going to take it over. I mean, so far, Killer Cox is, is taking the advantage. But maybe on this host change, it might turn everything around for Gaffey. got to see. Absolutely. Wolf, it's halftime. Do you have anything that you wanted to jump in and say? I sure do. Boy, it's, it's kind of been a long one, hasn't it? Um, you know, kind of not what I was expecting. A 6-4 score. Um, just about all the way through. Uh, real big shout out to everybody in chat. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all the donations, um, all the support. Uh, all the, uh, We're starting to see more gold mics, ladies and gentlemen. We've been... 
we've been around and established since 2019 and those golden likes are coming in so that's awesome that just it's i don't know man i the words can't express how happy that makes me but you know what i'm stumbling over my words because I'm, I'm getting tired but you know what will fix that there's a cure for that raise energy google eyes <laughs> oh, <laughs> google my eyes sorry my bad <laughs> well here's a good thing if you do want google eyes you just gotta drink raise because then you know the, the amount of energy you can get from that is just phenomenal and like i you know i i talk about a lot and yes guys we do have a promo code ahc at checkout um so yes it is a good thing for us in the end but i genuinely like it in fact i'm getting into my exercise routine and i buy their their protein and pre and post workout stuff and it's really good and i've had a lot of different kinds so um i i genuinely like rep sports products and raise energy is fantastic there's there's no um artificial colorings there's no added sugar or anything like that um it's definitely a good alternative to monster and, and things of that sort so if you guys live in the u.s and you are interested in checking out some of the amazing flavors that rep sports has for raise energy uh go to repsports.com and be sure at checkout to type in promo code AHC for 15% off your total purchase. That helps us and helps you. It's just a good deal, and you can get Google Eyes like that. But back to you boys at the Blue Desk. <laughs> Anybody ever see that movie? What, what is it? It's got Johnny Depp in it, but it's like Rango, I think, where he's like a, I don't know, a lizard or something. I don't, I don't know. know. It's just yeah. looking at Brown. And <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing there like smiling, almost like a Ninja Turtle mouth or something. I don't know. It's, oh, it's, it was great. I really like it. <laughs> hey, man. You know what? It's funny because every time I see the googly eyes myself, it just makes me smile even harder. Like, I just can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All man. right. So here we are. They are going to set back up. I need to go ahead and get my stream back up while I'm at it, too. Um what does everyone think so far? Well, we've got everyone in the chat, and we're Absolutely. we're doing all this setup. What do you think so far of the setup tonight? Uh, we've got, you know, Gaffe really, man, they are really coming to coming to play tonight. Um, they came for blood. Um, do you think that Gaffe can pull through this? What do you think? Throw out your comments. Let me know. Absolutely. I mean, me personally, if you're gonna ask me, I think they're gonna pull through this just fine. I mean, right now the score is pretty tight, six four. It seems like they're going to be probably hosting uh, since they were the lower seed. They get the second half of the hosting. Um, and, uh, you know, if they continue doing what they're doing and, you know, they, like the comms are great. They're, they're, they're you know, not, you know, it's static comms. You know, they're, they're not like being screamed out. They're very patient. You know, they're making the right choices, the, the, the right decisions. And I think that one of these matches, they're going to turn it completely around and probably come back and win it 11-10, you know, right at the very end. Great comment on Savage too. Uh, it's it's very true. He says Brown's trying to talk seriously through the uh, through the eyes. <laughs> it's, it's very true, man. So it's what's true. up, Nick? Thank you again, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, also, Yellow Ranger, man. I was I was talking about him earlier, but it was like during a match. But Yellow Ranger, that guy is probably one of the most active people I know online playing Firewall. Uh, if you if you really really just like to watch Firewall all the time, this guy's always doing it. So you ought to go over to his channel after this. Go over to his channel, give him a like and a subscribe. I want to say right. he's on YouTube. Um, and if you want to, uh, Ranger, throw out your YouTube channel and let everybody know so they can go over and watch watch your stuff. But um, it, man, I'm I'm a follower. The guys always I follow everybody that that allows us to that gives their stream. So this dude's got a great stream. Um, and I was also talking about Willie Teabagger also earlier about what a great show. He'll make you laugh. Like this cat's got some stuff like some full on graphics that if you do some certain shit during the show or give him some bits, like you'll see like, an, I don't know. I think it was like a Bigfoot. I think it was Bigfoot. It was like a Yeti man. I, it was a Yeti. It was a Yeti man. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I was laughing my ass. I was like, what the hell did I just see? Uh, it was a great character. show. I love it. I love watching Willie's show. He's he's by far a yeah. fantastic host. Guy, you know, just his beard, his laughter is just it's just amazing. I love it, man. He's he's a great guy. Makes you feel good. 
Yeah, man. He, uh, yeah, I absolutely, I, I love watching the show. He does do a good job of, of keeping up with, with, uh, the chat and right. keeping up with the gameplay. Cause the guy was killing it. Uh, he was killing it, but then he was also talking to me on the side about his house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was really, really great. So, uh, I want to thank him again for, uh, for sharing his feeds and, uh, go over there give him a like and a subscribe, uh, while you're at it too. Also, uh, everyone give a big shout out to Karen. Karen's doing a good job. She's one of our moderators in the chat tonight. She's keeping things straight. She makes sure that the people who would go uh, over the line doesn't. <laughs> so right. she's That's doing right. a great job. She's making sure that this chat is peaceful. Everyone's enjoying it, loving it. And uh, and I hope everyone's enjoying the match so far for the playoffs. So uh, give Karen lots and lots of love. She's doing a great job. Hey man, I really appreciate it. She's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Everybody who's following us today, if you're new, like I said, make sure you're hitting the follow button. Make sure you're subscribing and on the YouTube channels. Make sure you're following the, the North American Firewall League and the Pro League as well, uh, as well as Age Commentary EU and RL. And man, just keep supporting us, man. We really appreciate it because you know you guys make this so much fun, man. Really, you guys make this a blast. Thank you, guys. Hey, Brown Pit, we just got another hundred bits from Punishment VR. Oh, I, oh. I think uh, to the gooey I shake. <laughs> Look into my eyes, Punishment. <laughs> that should be your tagline. Look into my eyes. Look into my uh, eyes. Do you say for me? <laughs> I gotta send this shit to you. It's so, it's so great. Uh, man, I am digging that hat. Where'd you get that hat, bro? Um, so this hat was gifted to me during Christmas. Uh, it's not like singing, you know. What I mean, I'm I'm more of a shower singer, not a professional singer, but definitely like singing a lot. So like somebody was just like, you know, the mic is just befitting for you. Just you know, here's the gift for you. And yeah, man, I got a cool little mic hat. Well, it is awesome. We've actually got a little bit of film of you singing in the shower, and we're going to show it nice. right after this match. Nice. Stay tuned. Somebody caught me. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a website. It was really weird. We didn't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, man. You found that video. I'm just messing. I'm just messing with you. Jeez. All the girls are getting excited. Ooh, when we're going to see the shower scene. <laughs> Don't get Google on me. <laughs> Don't let me see those googly eyes. <laughs> oh, All right, dude. looks like a a nice warm up. I I want to say this is a nice warm up, nice friendly little, little match. That's right. Okay, very good. And then we'll figure out which uh, which match we're gonna do next while they are setting up. Just so everyone is up to date with what's going on, uh, the very first map that was picked tonight was Bunker. Uh, Killer Cox uh, started off on the defense. They got their win. Uh, they were able to hold down. And then Gaffey was on their defense, and they got their win. So we had a 1-1 match. The very next matchup, uh, map two, was District. On District, you had Killicox, who held down their defense. Gaffey held down theirs. Then we had a 2-2 two -two match. The map three is what the actual – that was the best map selection for Killicox. That's when we went to Embassy. At Embassy, Killicox took both matches and overtook Gaffey's defense, changing the score to four to two on map number four we were at black site where we saw again where killicock held down their defense and gaffey held down their defense making the new score five to three and on the very last match we just saw before the uh the half um before the break here uh was office and uh it was killicock who was on defense they held theirs down. Gaffey held theirs down. And here we are at six to four. Uh, I mean, Gaffey, man, I, like I said, one glitch tonight. That's all I see, one glitch. And that's why we have the score that we have tonight. Um, Embassy, of all of them too, man. Embassy is where Gaffey uh, gave up the defense. It was shocking. But the way that they've been playing tonight has been crazy. Absolutely. And like I said, I, I think in Embassy, it was truly the spawn point. The spawn point, had they gotten a different point, the spawn point on either the balcony or maybe the same green room, like a mirror match, and, you know, maybe Killer Cox wouldn't have come out so successful there. 
Um, but yeah, man, uh, it, it was just unfortunate. They got the, the harder spawn point out of the two. I think they got the, the least favorable one and yeah, it, it showed up, you know, Killer Cox was able to take advantage of the opportunity that was presented for them. And, you know, once again, without discounting, uh, cafe, because cafe actually had them down two to four and they were able to come back and, and, and pick up their two players and make it a four, two and turn it around to, to, to make it a complete ace for the Killer Cox. So. You know, they're doing fantastic. Both teams are doing fantastic. I wouldn't change so much on either side. Gaffey's yeah. just got to probably just get a little bit luckier. You know, that's just all it is. It's, I think luck is going to play out the biggest part here. Yeah, like we've been saying over and over, you've got to have the communications. I think that everybody's got that pretty well established. That's that's rookie shit if you're not talking. So you've got to have really good communication. Um, you, you really need to coordinate together at the same time that's part of the communication but that's where your body actually is too you need to be around the realm of your squad don't run off don't be by yourself don't be out of a revive range we've seen tonight very easily where killer Cox could have been taken down but every single map even on the maps that they lose they always get like five revives right yeah. that's that man, you've got to throw everything that you've got at a squad like Killicox, but just because of the revives. So revives are extremely important, and that's why we always say you've got to stay close with your squad. If you run off and get out of revive range, you're running your own show, and you're running at a major risk to your squad. Because uh, working on a three versus four makes everything much, much tougher. Um, so making sure that you've got the coordination down, the communication down, and then after that, Lady Luck, man, getting those shots in faster, being quick draw on the McGraw, whatever you've got to do, but you've got to be quick uh, and you've got to be active and don't buckle under the pressure. So That's right. both squads have done a great job tonight. Yeah, I think mental will play a big po a big portion of this match. It's going to be more on the mental side because these teams, when it comes to skill sets, I mean, Killer Cox is a veteran team, but Gaffe is no slouch. They have been around in many tournaments. Uh, they're holding one of the best players, you know, arguably in the game, you know, but they both actually have considerably some of the best players in the game on each yeah. side. So it's going to just be, you know, like I said, the spawn points and if they can coordinate it, like Brad just put it together very eloquently that if they can coordinate the right attacks, Gaffe is either going to be able to pull out a victorious, you know, as this, this tournament, or they're just going to fall just shy, you know, it's just going to be something just shy. But these guys are putting up one hell of a fight. And I am truly entertained by what's happening right now. This is just yeah. truly amazing. Uh, what's up, everybody in the chat? Thanks for being here. Um, you've got Waleed Ghost who is here. Thank you for being here. King Cole, uh, that guy is a beast. Um, He's let's a see. beast. I think it was like King Cole did is what he right. changed up his name. It was a pretty smart ch name change. I like uh, Zach is fly still here, uh, making everyone belly laugh. I love that guy. Uh, oh, shit, it's MJ still here. How are you, ma'am? Thanks for being here. Uh, Momo, Diabolical Gamer, Savage, Razzleberry Crunch. That's the one I, I wanted to make sure i gave a shout out to razzleberry i didn't i don't think i did so shout out to razzle razzle so here we go we're back in no, 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 no. starting off on the defense in the sweet spot on containment in the modem room Pinche sicario cabrón. ¿Dónde andas, güey? Fíjate si hay C4s en el doble puerta. No, en el doble puerta no hay, pero hay un sensor, güey. Aquí donde estoy yo, enfrente a mí. Aquí hay un frente en el lab room, hasta ahí, güey. No, aguanta, 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 déjate. Ahí no hay nada, güey, no hay sí. Once again, it seems like Killer Cox is in a very favorable position. Probably one of the best points in this map. <laughs> Killer Cox calling Gaffe rude because they never even said hi through the window. <laughs> it, it, it is kind of rude, you know? Yeah, at least a wave. 
Yeah, might be a mind game. It might be like a Jedi mind trick. You never know. That's what it is. That's what <laughs> it is. Getting in their head. That's it. <laughs> We're not even gonna. When you see them, don't even wave at them. No. They don't exist. This is what's gonna happen. This is good. All right. En la chiquita. Voy a ir para allá, güey, Crot. Tienes el ojo, güey. Si ves que te llegan, te sales. The game's Johnny Cage. Oops, what? I was just gonna say Johnny Cage wins is still here too. Just wanted to point that out to everyone. Oh yeah, shout out Johnny Cage. Big shout. It just seems like the game slowed down quite a bit since the beginning. Like it's now, they're using the clock a lot. Van a tirarle una granada a esa puerta chiquita o qué? Oh man, exotic has got me messed up. The skulls move. <laughs> it's definitely where you don't want to wave. All right, so there you go. You've got. Uh, well, there's the wave. They're not waving back. I do see this. I don't know if anyone else can, can see us, but. Two members of Gaffe coming down the back stairs right now, right where Chuck is pointing. Ese cuatro ahí? They're getting ready. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either. Cuatro con humos ahí, güey, ese. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Ya que se venga, creo, no, en cualquier momento se arma la la lacera, güey. Si te acercas, hay un eagle eye cerca de Diego. Vente, 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 creo, te emputiza, emputiza, emputiza. Ok, lo voy a poner. Lo pongo, ¿qué pedo? And by the way, guys, if you're new to the chat, don't be shy. Stop by, say hi. We're friendly. We will bite. We will be very nice. Vete para allá, Crot. Vamos a disparar ya, güey. Vete para allá. Ya no lo ves el ojo, ¿dónde estás? Para acá con estos vatos por allá arriba, por atrás. All right. These guys are getting ready for something big right here. No, no, no. Vete allá con Diego. Vete allá con Diego atrás. Sí, te dije que te vayas con Diego abajo. El Diego me está mandando contigo. No, 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 no. Por eso. Ahí, ahí. Mira, ok. Make sure que no tenga nada en las topos. Doble tiro conmigo, Crot. Me voy a echar, güey. Yeah, we're about to see a massive push here. There's only about a minute left on the clock. You know, there's nobody on the right. One minute, eh? One minute. When they say. Okay, I tell you. So, in cuanto le abran, van a empezar a disparar esos güeyes que están a la izquierda, los dos. La izquierda, la puerta dentro del server. Afuera, afuera. Cuarenta y ocho. The excitement is building up. ¿Listos? Impacts go out. Lots of grenades. Going for a bounce. Here comes the push. Chuck gets them down. On Hugo, they're all pushing out. Oh, God, they overtake. Wow. And uh, it was like a, a flank for the Killicox on Gaffe. They were not able to overtake that defense. Killicox. Takes that win in containment. You know, the Killer Cox were just ready. You know, they, they knew this was probably coming. This was going to be the way that this was going to be pushed. And they just ready. They were just ready for it. You know, it was unfortunate. Gaffey made, you know, one massive push to see if they could get a few people out with a few grenades. But unfortunately, Killer Cox were just not near that door. And we were able to stay away far enough where they weren't impacted. So, Congratulations to Killer Cox, man. They're, they're doing a great job in their defense. Yeah, Killer Cox getting the, uh, in all fairness, man. I mean, if I'm part of Gaffe and I know where they're at, I'm going to, like, fuck. Like, that, doesn't that figure? <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. so, I mean, that that's kind of the way that I would have felt about it. But they did get, Killer Cox got the great spot. It was a great hold, uh, the way that they held it down. I loved it. It was a great match. Uh, and a coordinated push with Gaffe. So they really had a great chance of overtaking that defense. I love how they always keep Killer Cox on the rope, and they always keep them on their toes. Uh, and then somehow they still prevail. So, again, on that last match, Cockamus Prime ended up getting uh, two kills, uh, and he was eliminated on, uh, eliminated on that. That last match honeycock was able to get one kill and wolfcock was able to get one kill and he was eliminated on that last match 